Hello. Welcome to Extreme Science with Cass. Today, we're going to talk about gravity. Gravity is the force which pulls things toward the center of the Earth, which is filled with gravity. Uh, this uh, led to a question. The question, why doesn't gravity work underwater? Well, you may have noticed when you've been underwater that uh, you've been completely weightless. Well, there's a very good reason for that, and I'm going to explain it to you now. When gravity, here's, we're going to have this as the center of the earth, filled with gravity. Here is your backyard swimming pool, represented by a blue rectangle there. And this is you, swimming. Okay, so. Gravity is not actually that strong. Um, it can only pull on the densest thing in the area. In this case, it is the swimming pool, water. Uh, the water is so heavy, or dense, or the same thing, that uh, it only has enough energy to pull on the water and not enough to pull on you. Pull on, pulls on you a little bit, but not not enough that you would ever notice it. Scientifically, it is impossible to distinguish between a person floating in water and someone in space. And gravity affects neither one of them. So, that is why. Uh, and in fact, a little something, a little something extra here. You know Florida? This is Florida. Uh, somewhere in this area here, think here maybe uh, there's a Cape Canaveral <laughs> and Cape Canaveral is set up so that uh, when they launch spaceships uh, it is surrounded by water because gravity is so busy pulling the ocean making sure the ocean is pulled down to the earth's surface that it has no energy left over to keep a space shuttle. Draw a space shuttle. Space shuttles. Space shuttles. the nebula. We're gonna draw the nebula. Oh my god. The space shuttle has to explore the nebula. Be careful! They're gonna explore the nebula. It's not red. No, it needs to be red.
This has been Extreme Science with Kaz.